Now, waves are a very special thing. And what I'm saying now is probably easiest to imagine, to, to visualize, um, if you're thinking of waves that you can make in water. You can drop a pebble into water. You can put a piece of wood into water and make waves in a controlled way. Waves don't move in straight lines. They're not just a line, a beam, a straight connection. They move in wave fronts and in particular at each and every point of such a wave front, we have a new wave originating. So if we looked at the wave in water and we'd be looking at each and every point there, we would see that new circular waves start there and all together they make up that wave front, like a wave coming into a beach, for example. Now, when we put obstacles in the way, like little barriers, little walls, and we leave one or two open holes in them, we can see the effect of this wave, waves starting from each and every point, because behind these little barrier openings, we will not just see a wave in a straight line, we will see it spreading out to the sides. It will sort of go around corners in a way. If it was a straight line, it would not be able to reach a place that's hidden from it. But since it is a wave, it can do that. It can sort of go around things. All waves do that, but it scales. And that's sort of easy to see when you do the water experiment. It scales with the wavelength. The longer the wavelength, the more it can sort of go to the side and, and fill the dark spaces, so to say, um, where it actually wouldn't be able to reach if it was just a straight line. So everything scales with wavelength. And that's the reason why in light, we can't see this effect very strongly because light has just a wavelength, which is tiny, tiny, tiny. We cannot, our eyes can typically not see this. If we could see the waves of Wi-Fi, we would see them doing exactly this quite strongly because the wavelength, I mentioned it, 12 centimeter, is a lot, lot bigger than that of visible light. So that means waves do strange things. Radio propagation does strange things. The easiest to understand is probably absorption. Radio waves get absorbed in matter, in material. And the two materials that are strongest in interacting, that are most absorbing, those are metal and water, water in all its forms, fog, rain, also the water in the human body. If you put a human body in the, directly in the way of a radio wave in front of your access point, for example, you can measure that difference. You can measure the absorption in the human body because the human body is mostly water. 70-80% of us human beings is water. And then you have materials that are sort of in between walls, wood. It depends a lot on how humid is it, how much water is in that material. And I'm not giving any precise values here because end of the day, you will have to find out case by case. As a general rule, just water and metal will always be in the way of radio waves. Then a second effect, diffraction, is what we talked about earlier, this going around corners. In the picture on the right, you can see a mountaintop and the, the waves, the, the signal actually shouldn't be able to reach the point down on the other side. 
However, because radio behaves like a wave, it can do some of this. It can go around corners a little bit. And again, how well it can do that depends on the wavelength. Radio waves get reflected, just like light in a mirror. And the laws are the same, an incidence angle and an angle out, it does that. And then lastly, waves can have interference. And this, in the strict sense of the term, only appears if the frequency of two waves is the same, or at least very close to one another, and they have a fixed phase relation to one another, like a fixed place where the wavelength has its ups and downs, where the wave has its tops and its lowest points. When you have this same frequency, some form of fixed phase relation, you get strict interference and you can have the effect that one plus one doesn't make two, but in fact zero waves can cancel each other out. We're also using the term interference in a wider way where we're saying, you know, this frequency is close to one another and we'll have interference between them. They'll disturb one another in some way, even though it might not be 100%, they might not cancel out each other completely, but interference is definitely something to look at in the behavior of radio waves.